Well, Valentine's Day is just a couple of weeks away. It turns out many couples are being unfaithful, at least as Kristen Lazar explains, unfaithful when it comes to money. How long have you guys been together? Uh, 11 years. 12 years. 12 years. <laughs> Oops. Married couple Ted Toussaint and Hillary Reynolds may not be on the same page about everything, but they are when it comes to money. Are you always honest about your finances with your spouse? Yes. Yes, I am actually. We both are. We've had to be really yeah. transparent. A new survey reveals that's not the case for many couples. We found that 42% of people who are currently married or living with a romantic partner have kept a financial secret from that person. Ted Rossman from Bankrate says 30% admit spending more than their spouse or partner would approve of. 19% said they have a secret savings account and 18% acknowledged having a secret credit card. Gen Zers are most likely to commit financial infidelity, followed by more than half of millennials. The numbers are lower for Gen Xers and baby boomers. I think also the fact that people are getting married later is leading people to get more entrenched in their habits, and especially in two-income couples. Rossman says honesty is the best policy. I think you do need to manage money collectively, but you could each carve out a little bit of money from every paycheck that's yours and yours alone, as long as you've agreed on those parameters. Rossman also recommends couples sit down regularly and go over the finances to make sure there are no surprises. Christine Lazar, CBS News, Los Angeles. Now for all of those adjusting your halos out there, the survey also found that people sometimes report hiding money because they want to save it and are worried their spouse or partner will end up spending it.